Okay, that's it. We're about to get out of here. We did a lot of pictures. Came. We did the before. We we did the before, and so in about 35, 40 days, hopefully it's got to be under 60. We're gonna take a look at the after. Um, I have to tell you, it looks really, really rough. But if you've been around aviation, then you know you want it to look rough if it's going through an extension annual. If it doesn't look rough, then you know you got some problems. You got screwed over. So, all right, that's it. Next time I see you, we'll be doing the pickup for the aircraft and flying it back from uh, where Petersburg, Virginia, back yeah. to uh, Delaware. Back to Delaware. I think that's where we're gonna put the aircraft. Back to Delaware. So, all right. Um, I'm Dr. Daniels. So, if you got any questions, look below. Make sure you hit uh, subscribe. Um, we're gonna go on some vacations here. Want to take you up flying. I'm looking to go out to uh, the Eastern Shore, looking out to go out to, uh, trying to talk my wife into flying up to uh, Martha's Vineyard, also uh, Rhode Island. Remember this, you don't have to be a rich guy to do this. You gotta have a dream, you gotta follow it. I used to be a guy not so long ago in the Army. Seriously, I was a ground pounder in the Army, believe it or not, before I went and got a doctorate, okay? So, but I've always had a, a commercial multi-engine instrument. I've had that for about 16 years now. So I've been around the block with aviation. All right. But like I said, holding your dreams and chase them. All right. Dr. D. Dr. D, peace out.